at, at some point you're gonna have to take it into your own hands and see what you can do to benefit your culture, your community. A former Winnipegger has returned to Ukraine just before the second anniversary of Russia's invasion of the country to bring supplies and aid to his homeland and continue working on his film documenting the war. Right now, bombs have been going off. I'm headed home right now. Frankly, people outside of Ukraine are starting to get tired of this war. And I completely understand that. But imagine actually living through the war. Filmmaker Max Komenko says finishing his documentary on the war in Ukraine is important, but even more is bringing tangible help to his people. Hopefully a film can do something, but I'm not, I'm not sure it will. I've heard stories from the last time we donated tourniquets, which are blood stoppers, it saved people from needing amputations. It saved people's lives. Komenko is spending the next two weeks filming and delivering much needed aid at the same time, like money, medical supplies, and power banks. He says he's seen a decrease in people's willingness to help, but hopes he can help make a change with fundraisers through his travels. Frankly, I wish, I wish they were going better. I wish they were a little more active, but that's where I need to pick up some slack on my end and I think once I'm in Ukraine and people can directly see this connection and how this is beneficial for people, I think people's mindsets will change. Komenko says although the trip will be difficult and busy with work and distributing donations, he's looking forward to also spending some much needed time with friends and family members he's usually only able to speak to on the phone. I, I try to have a conversation with someone in Ukraine at least once a day, but oftentimes those conversations, they're interrupted. And they're interrupted by bomb sirens and my friends or family having to flee to a bomb shelter. But it also reminds me of the importance of family and maintaining those relationships and, and that contact with your family. Because I want to be able to tell my kids, my family, that I was able to help and I actually contributed to problems that I felt like I could maybe fix a little bit. Even In Winnipeg, Joanne Roberts, City News.